Because a lot of us do that, don't we? When we're listening to someone in any sort of conversation, we tend to be formulating our own responses. Oh, what am I going to say in response to this? What do I want to say next? Creative solutions are the best contributions we make. Welcome to the Creative Solutions Podcast. This episode is brought to you by my book, Speak From Within. Learn how you can engage, inspire, and motivate any audience. You can also download my four simple tips to make starting any conversation a breeze at the link in the show notes. It's also brought to you by the Brain FM app and this podcast's host, Podbean. Hello and welcome to the Creative Solutions Podcast. I'm your host, Isolde Trachtenberg. Today we're going to dive deep into a topic that lies at the heart of human connection, and that's cultivating empathy. But before we do that, I'm going to invite you to stick around until the end of the episode where you can get another technique to get more calm, to get more peaceful, and to get more creative and mindful and quite frankly, full of joy. You know me, I'm about the juice and the sizzle, and I'm working, I'm building the blocks so that we can all have juice and sizzle in our lives. Stay tuned until the end of the episode where I'm going to be talking about what is one of the other building blocks of life, as far as I'm concerned, awareness and how to build your awareness skills. But now, or rather I should say and now, I want to talk about empathy. I'm going to invite you to get ready to unlock the power of empathy within yourself and explore how it can transform your communication, fostering understanding and harmony between you and yourself and also you and others. So settle in, open your heart, and let's embark on this transformative journey together. Have you ever had a conversation where you felt truly understood, where every word seemed to resonate with your deepest emotions, that's the magic of empathy. It's the ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes, to listen with compassion, and to acknowledge that person's emotions judgment-free. When you cultivate empathy within yourself, you create sort of a safe and nurturing space for open dialogue and meaningful connections. Imagine you're standing on a bridge reaching out to someone on the other side. Empathy is the bridge that connects you, allowing you to cross over and explore their world. It's like it's like a heartfelt hug where understanding and compassion flow freely. And the thing about empathy is that it is, I know, a communication skill, but it's also a creativity skill. And in this series, looking at how we can use these creativity skills, these creative abilities that we all have to communicate, to understand, to empathize better, this is one of those times when we get to choose how we approach everything. Because empathy is one of those things, when you think about it from the psychology aspect of it, you're, you're putting yourself out there in a way because you're being vulnerable enough to see from the other person's point of view. And often when we are in discussions or, or arguments or fights or whatever, we don't want to see the other person's point of view. Most of the time we go into self-protection mode. And so one of the things that I do with my coaching clients is that I actually will tell them if they're couples, I will actually tell them, argue for the other person's point of view. In other words, if let's say you decide that you definitely think you should get a new dishwasher and your partner definitely does not think it's time to get a new dishwasher, take the other point of view. So you have to argue for not getting a dishwasher and they have to argue for getting a dishwasher. By having to sort of empathize with the other person's point of view in this very concrete way, you can build that skill, but you can also see the amazing amounts of information that you're going to get just by having done that little exercise. That was a little bonus exercise from me to you. To cultivate empathy and communication, start by truly listening to others. Imagine you're a traveler in a foreign land and you're eager to learn about its culture and its customs. And when someone shares their experiences and their emotions, listen with attention. Listen without interrupting. Uh, don't formulate responses in your mind while you're listening. Just take in what they're saying. Let their words sort of wash over you and create a safe space for them to express themselves fully. Because a lot of us do that, don't we? When we're listening to someone in any sort of conversation, we tend to be 
formulating our own responses. Oh, what am I going to say in response to this? What do I want to say next? Instead of really, truly finding that moment of empathy and going, okay, <laughs> let me just listen and let their wash, their words wash all over me and see what happens. Now, when you, when you put yourself in someone else's shoes, let's, let's picture yourself in a theater watching a play. Empathy is the act of stepping into the shoes of the characters, feeling their joys, feeling their sorrows. It's about understanding each person's experiences shape their perspective. By empathizing, you acknowledge their unique path, their unique journey, and you can build a deeper connection. But why is empathy so vital in communication? Let me give you a real world example. Imagine you're having a conversation with a friend who's going through a difficult time. Instead of offering advice, <laughs> I get paid to offer advice, so that one's hard for me, I'll be honest. But instead of offering advice or trying to fix the problem, you just cultivate empathy. And just as a weird word there, because it can be, as I said, kind of difficult sometimes. But you listen attentively and you validate their emotions and you acknowledge their challenges. By doing that, you create a compassionate and safe space where they will feel heard and understood. And through empathy, you're going to build that bridge of trust that I was talking about, and you're going to strengthen your bond. Cultivating empathy, it not only builds your communication skills, it also promotes understanding and harmony. And you know how much I love harmony being a singer myself in your relationships. It's like, it's like tending a garden, nurturing the seeds of compassion and connection within yourself, right? In those interactions, it's so important to lead with compassion because as you cultivate empathy, you're going to build that environment of respect and then diverse voices can be heard and meaningful connections and interactions can occur. Now, take a sec and reflect on your own communication. Are you cultivating empathy within yourself? In other words, Sometimes you actually have to cultivate empathy within yourself to be able to uh, cultivate empathy within your relationships. In other words, you have to actively build that muscle. It is a muscle. It is a skill that you can learn. And so the question becomes, how can you listen more attentively and acknowledge the feelings and the perspectives and the emotions of other people. Because it, it is a skill, right? You can, you can hone that skill with practice and intention. And one of the things that, that you can do with it then is to actively practice. And I'm going to challenge you to do that. In fact, the next conversation that you have that's challenging, that's a little like, oh, this makes me a little uncomfortable, uh, feeling uncomfortable is fine. I'm not saying don't do that. Don't feel I'm, I'm not going to ever tell you how to feel. I am, however, going to say, OK, when you feel that discomfort, acknowledge the discomfort for sure. Right. That's so important. Acknowledging the discomfort is super important because then you're not defensive because you already know that you're feeling a little, uh, I'm not sure. And you might even say that to the other person. You might even say, I'm just, I just want to say I'm here for you and I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. And I just wanted you to know that so that we have, we have sort of, uh, everything out in the open. Right. But then when you are ready, cultivate empathy, don't try to solve their problem. Don't try to fix things. Just be empathetic put yourself in their shoes, see if you can get to a place where you really understand and honor their point of view and and take it from there, right? And those listening skills that I'm talking about, that awareness, I'm going to talk about that at the end of this episode, but I do want to say that that awareness that's starting to become aware of the things going on around you and then acknowledging them and then even showing compassion to whatever's going on those are the building blocks of great communication, and they're also the building blocks of living a great life, right? We have to focus on what matters. If we don't focus on what matters, we end up frittering stuff away. So one of the things I, again, one of the things I tell my coaching clients is, do you know what matters to you? If you don't, you need to figure it out. And then once you have that list, and I'm a big list maker, once you have the list of what matters to you, focus on that. Focus on what matters. So I'm going to ask you to 
uh, join me in building and cultivating more empathy. And I'm also going to ask you to tell people about this episode in particular, because I think the more empathy we have for each other, the more we are able to walk in each other's shoes, the more we're going to understand with compassion what's going on. Because ultimately, we don't know. We don't know what what demons people are fighting and what angels they're having for dinner. We just don't know. So be aware that cultivating that empathetic viewpoint is one of the best things that you can do, right? Empathy is the bridge that connects hearts and minds and spirits. And by cultivating empathy within yourself, you have the power to create a world where understanding and harmony thrive and shine. I want to thank you for joining me on this episode of the Creative Solutions Podcast. Together, let's let's cultivate empathy and foster those meaningful connections that are going to make the difference in our lives and in the lives of the people around us. All right, you did it. You stayed to the end of the episode. I'm super glad that you're here. One of the things that I'm doing in preparation for releasing my class on basically meditation for busy people, that's really what it is because it's its how to build a meditation and mindfulness practice in five minutes a day, right? Some people say that you need 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes at night. Some people meditate for an hour a day. I get it. I just don't get it, right? I cannot do that. It is not something that I'm really great at doing 20 minutes a day. I, I I know that time is the only resource we don't ever get back, right? Once you've spent the time, it's gone. And yet I want to, I want to have the freedom to go today. I can meditate for 25 minutes, but tomorrow I might only have five. And so I am encouraging you to start thinking about building some of these skills in shorter time periods, not because, oh, do it fast, do it now. But sometimes, you know, in order to build the time later, we need to start with feeling like things are more expansive now. And one of the ways to do that is don't try to do everything all at once. Instead, find one thing that you can do five minutes, five minutes a day. And in, in the class that's going to be coming out in the next few weeks, I that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about sit down and be a guru on the mountain for 20 minutes, two hours a day, whatever it is. I'm saying give five minutes a day. See what that's like. See if you do that for five minutes a day over, let's say, the next three months, see what's different. And in fact, I'm always about pre and post assessments. And so in the class, there are going to be some of those to just see where you are, see where you start and see where you end up. Because sometimes we don't notice these changes happening in us until they have happened. And you're like, oh, look at where I've come from and look at where I am today. That's two different things. So bear that in mind as you're as you're thinking about this. And and if you decide you want to take the class, that'll be awesome. It's going to be uh, it's going to be available soon. And it's going to be me guiding you through meditations and things like that. And I think it's going to be really good. I'm really excited about that. Uh, and I want to get into this quick exercise. One of the things if you if you listen to last time's episode, we were talking about breathing and I gave you a, a super easy technique to do that with. And this is also a pretty easy technique to do. And it's about building awareness. Awareness to me is the key. It's the key to everything. And I'm going to talk more about that next time in the next episode. But I do want to get you one little thing that you can do right now. And that is to build your awareness skills, because as I said, that's the building block. That's the foundation to build that awareness skill. Take something that you see right now. Let your eyes Rest for a minute, like close them and then open them and then see what you see, right? So I'm going to do it with you right now. I'm closing my eyes and I'm going to open them and I see uh, uh, a pencil sharpener. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's light gray and dark gray and it's got two holes, one for bigger sort of crayons and one for pencils. And it's shaped kind of like a curved box and it's shiny plastic and it has a label on it. And so that's what I that's what I'm aware of. That's what I noticed. And I was able to notice it and describe it to myself. And there you go. So that's what I'm going to invite you to do right now is close your eyes for a few seconds. And then open them and see what you see. Pick one thing that you see 
and become truly aware of it. Notice its color. Is it a bright red or is it purple? Is it multicolored? Is it a book? Is it a cup? Is it whatever it is? Notice what it is. Notice its shape and notice its colors and see if you can really become aware of the way the light is reflecting off it. If it is reflecting off it, see if you can become aware of what its texture would be if you were to reach out and touch it. If it has a scent, uh, just become aware of that object in space. And if you really want to get playing with it, see if you can imagine lifting that object up and turning it around so that you see the back end or the other side of it. Really become aware of what that object is and just build that skill and practice this a couple times a day. Just close your eyes for a couple seconds, open them, see what you see and describe it to yourself, become aware of it. Because our subconscious mind is beautifully aware of everything all the time. It knows everything that we've seen and heard and smelled and tasted and touched, and it remembers it. But consciously, we cannot hold on to all of that information, so we let it go and it sort of recedes into the background. But building that awareness skill of, I'm gonna close my eyes, I'm gonna open them and I'm gonna see what I see, and or smell what I smell or hear what I hear, that will allow you to become more aware on purpose, right? It will allow you to start building some of those focal points that we want in a purposeful life. And so just start with this exercise. And I would love to hear from you actually about this. If you if you do the exercise and you choose something, do me a favor, drop me a line or leave me, there's a, there's a little place to leave a voicemail. Leave me a voicemail. I would love to hear what you saw and what your description was. And if you do, I'm going to put you on the show. I'll just add your little thing, uh, your little voicemail right onto the show. And uh, you can give, you, give me your name and tell me who you are and tell me what you saw and tell me what it looked like. I would love to feature your answer. All righty. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and this little exercise. I love it. I think it's a great exercise to do to build that awareness skill. Because remember, this is a building block of everything, which means meditation, mindfulness, creativity, joy, juice, and sizzle are all on that path. Until next time, I remind you as always to be bold, be creative, and most of all, be kind. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Please subscribe to the podcast if you're new, and it would mean the world to me if you told a friend about it. Today's episode was produced by Isolde Trachtenberg and is copyright 2023. As always, please remember this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Past performance does not guarantee future results, although we can always hope. Until next time, keep living what you believe in. Thank you.